Mount Zion, here are your ministry activities, community news, and fellowship opportunities for the month of November. Thanksgiving feeding will be held on Thursday, November 24th after the Thanksgiving worship service. Volunteers are needed at the Antioch and Jefferson Street locations from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. If you are interested, please call 615-254-7296, extension 1122. This initiative focuses on donating diapers for local families in need. You can donate now through December 19th. Please place all diapers in the designated bins in the atrium. Bible study is canceled for Wednesday, November 23rd. Join us for Thanksgiving Day service on Thursday, November 24th, 2011 at 9 a.m. Antioch location. Bible study will resume on Wednesday, November 30th. The administrative offices of Mount Zion are closed on Thursday, November 24th and 25th for the Thanksgiving holiday. In case of emergency, please call 615-254-7296 and select option seven. The winter season is approaching and we are collecting coats, hats, and scarves for the Nashville community. Donate items today through December 12th. We thank you in advance for your contribution. Mount Zion's youth basketball season is here. If you are in grades K through 12, sign up today at the athletic ministry booth in the atrium. Volunteering and coaching opportunities are available. If you are interested, please visit the Athletic Ministry booth. Attention all volunteers. Join us during Meet the Flockers as we take time to celebrate you and all your hard work and dedication to Mount Zion throughout 2011. Hello, I'm Dick and Charles Ware, uh, flock leader for the Eat from Flock FG. I'm a retired school teacher and assistant principal. Was in the classroom for about 30 years, spent the last four years as an assistant principal in a middle school. Really had some good kids. Never came across any really bad ones. No child is really <laughs> bad. Hardly bad. Until I got <laughs> to this point here and I found that there are some <laughs> bad kids. This is what forces you into retirement. Mount Zion, come on out to meet the flockers. This is an opportunity for you to meet Bishop, First Lady, the staff, the elders, and the deacons of your flock. <laughs> Tell it, Pharaoh, I'm <laughs> It's that time of year again where we thank God for the many blessings that He bestows on us daily. Join us at 9 a.m. Thanksgiving morning at the Antioch location for our Thanksgiving service. Are you seriously dating, preparing for marriage, or married? If you answered yes, then the 2011 Becoming a Couple of Destiny Conference is for you. This conference is focused towards strengthening relationships and building core principles that will lead you towards God's true purpose for you as a couple. The conference sessions include the following topics, His Money, Her Money, Our Money, Making Finances Work in Marriage, Yours, Minds, and Ours, Building Successful Step Families. It's not what you said, it's how you said it, Communicating Effectively in Marriage. And Lord, give me strength. I need you to make this marriage work. Also featuring a special session titled, Becoming a Couple of Destiny, featuring Dr. Joseph Walker III and Dr. Stephanie Walker. Join them as they share their stories of becoming a couple 
who are not only happily married, but also committed to doing and being all that God has called them to be. Join us on December 3rd, 2011, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at our Antioch location. Pre-register online at MountZionNashville.org. The 2011 Becoming a Couple of Destiny Conference. Create a bigger, better life together. Addictions and authority. Many of us don't really walk in the authority that God has given to us. When the devil shows up, he recognizes authority. And he also knows where timidity is. He knows where fear is. Authority does not beg. Authority does not ask. Authority commands. Nowhere in the scripture were you supposed to pray to God to cast out something. God gave you and I authority to cast it out ourselves. We are so acclimated to codependency that we don't feel that it could happen unless somebody else does it for us. Too many of us play with his name. We use his name in all of these expletives and we use his name and throw it around and we don't recognize that when you open up your mouth and you declare his name, you are given permission to use something that doesn't belong to yourself because his name can do what your name cannot do. Which is why you got all these elaborate alarm systems in your house and you got all these Brigler bars and you got Smith and Wesson under your bed, you better understand the authority you got inside of you to let the devil know I ain't playing with you. There are consequences when you deal with me. For more information regarding any announcements, please visit the church website at mountzionnashville.org. Click the What's Happening tab or download the new online bulletin for ministry programs and information.